Welcome to MasterView Tutorials. In this video, we will learn about how to integrate MasterView with Elementor. Elementor is a popular page builder plugin for WordPress that allows users to design and customize their website without any coding knowledge. When integrated into MasterView, it can provide you with the tools to create engaging and interactive e-learning content for your students. After installation and activation of Elementor plugin, Go to Master Video Add-ons. From here, search for Elementor Integration and enable it. Now we can set up and configure Elementor. Now let's go to Pages and Add New. Give it a title. And from here you can see the edit with elementor button. Click on it. And now you will see the elementor page builder window. Here you can find elements section on your left hand side. Scroll down. Now to add a course list, just drag this element from the left hand side to the widget. Now you can configure this elements as per your need. It has the following sections to work on. First one is number of courses. You can select total number of courses to appear on this page. columns to change the number of columns per row and next is thumbnail if you turn this off this will hide the thumbnail from these courses enabling this will show two more options difficulty badge and feature driven difficulty badge to show or hide the level of difficulty of the courses Feature driven to show or hide the feature driven right here. Next one is categories. You can show or hide the name of the category if you have one. Following this you have course title. You can show or hide the title of the courses. Next is author. You can show or hide the author name. Enabling this will show you two more options. Avatar of author and name of author. And you can also show or hide the ratings, highlights or description. Next one is metadata. You can show or hide the section containing information on the number of students, course hours, etc. Enabling this option will show you three more options. Course duration, students count, lessons count. You can show or hide the full section of the course card that shows pricing and purchase button. Enabling this option will show you two more options. You can either hide the price of the course or you can hide the enroll button. Moving on to the next section, we have filter. In this section, you will find two tabs. You can either include the options on the section or exclude them based on these tabs. Toggle between include or exclude as per your requirements. This section consists of the following options. Categories and Structures In Categories, select the list of categories to include or exclude on the course cards. And in Instructor, select the instructors from the list to include or exclude on the course card. You can do the same for excluding. Next, we have Shorting. 
As the name suggests, this section helps you to sort the courses in ascending or descending order by date, title, price or rating. Now moving on to course category. To add the course category, just drag this element from the left hand side to the widget. Now you can configure these elements as per your need. It has the following section to work on. First one is number of categories. You can set the total number of categories to be shown on the page. Columns to change the number of columns per row. Next is include subcategories. Show or hide any subcategories. There are the categories inside a parent category. Thumbnail. In thumbnail, show or hide the course's thumbnail image. In details, enable this option to include details like title, course counts, etc. Now again in course category sorting, as the name suggests, this section helps you to sort the course categories in ascending or descending order by date, title, or course counts. Don't forget to update or publish your settings after you've done customizing your page. Now that's all for how you can integrate and add a custom page for your course using Elementor integration add-on. If you have any queries regarding any of the steps or features, you can contact our support team. Link is in the description below. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.